to uh, My Hero Academia. So this is just uh, picking up where we had... We just started the raid last week. And here we saw... Um, I forgot the, the guy's name, the, the minion. He basically, like, drugged himself super hard with that, that booster. That little tiny guy. Mimic? Yeah, yeah, Mimic, yeah. He basically, like, super drugged himself and made himself into the underground maze. And then we had... It's basically the episode of Sun Eater, or Tamaki. He was the one that got left behind. Had to deal with the three other people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He didn't get left behind. He chose well, to stay behind. He chose so, to be a beast. Sorry. Sorry. Chose. <laughs> it was he his chose... time to shine, man. It was his episode. He chose not to be a little bitch and finally start <laughs> to face his whoa, fear. shots fired. Break out of his anxiety. <clears throat> It would have been great kind of appreciate, if right? his hair transformed into a bunch of pills. <laughs> He's like, oh, you guys should have known about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was actually like, uh, I've been wanting to know like more about this guy. To kind of give like the reasoning of like uh, the big three. Dude, uh, Togaga still looks creepy when he's a little kid. No, I feel yeah. like as a kid, he didn't look as bad. It fit the character pretty well. Um, dude, I don't think this yeah. guy looks creepy at all. I think yeah, was... what's wrong with you guys? Why are you guys dude, bullying him, dude? His little eyes are so I, think he, I think it looks kind of creepy too. I really can't get over it. Like I keep on waiting. Oh, He's so because nice. like like it every an... question his motive. Every <laughs> anime <laughs> eyes is just like normal people's so like white space. This is all completely black. Like it's little <laughs> tiny little dots. Like are you saying all my looks weird too? Then <laughs> he does. No, he has black okay. lifeless eyes. All right then. Rip. <laughs> well, I suppose he doesn't have those eyes anymore. But you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys remember what the bullet people are called? Like the, uh, the eight, eight bullets of the eight Hasai. Bullets. The what? The eight bullets of the Hasai. Okay, right. Oh, that's a, I mean that's pretty not, like uh, I mean it's pretty it's it's still pretty nuts. I guess the, that uh, Sunny is taking on three of them, but I guess we really don't know how strong they are. How do we know they're, um, if they're the three bullet? At the time? <laughs> are they like, more like groups? <laughs> like, is it like eight bullet groups, or is it uh -huh. just like? Are there, are there uh, actually there's, eight individuals. There's eight individuals in the group. I yeah, I think it's eight people. I think okay. So the, so Sunny took three of them out, and I, um, is the the guy that like rushed the main door, like the giant dude? Do you think? Do you guys think he's one of them as well? Probably. Okay, yeah. So that then oh, they have yeah. the guy. Then they have the guy that merged into the wall. So it's five. So what, there's like three left. Um, uh, I don't uh, believe right? so. That we, or that we haven't seen, or we like they like they haven't gotten to battle with them. I don't know. I got lost in their little whole like trash talk. Why they're like, we were trash, but our leader, because yeah, <laughs> we were more than that. <laughs> yeah, they they uh they mentioned that that time like a few straight times. And I like, I'm like, sorry. How low does your self esteem have to be <laughs> when people are devaluing your crystals? They're like, oh, these aren't upgrade low. Ah, I feel like trash. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh. Dude, let, let's be honest. If those crystals were worth anything, this guy would not be like a like a for hire guy. Dude, if he played it smart, he would do what the beers did. Where pretty much they have the only market <laughs> for diamonds. They charge the price. If he would have done that, he would have been successful. <laughs> well, he was being and used that, by that, another guy. So, but that's what I'm saying. If he became self aware after that, he listened to a few like self help books. Pretty sure he would change. <laughs> But now he's saying that was the fucking guy who eats things for a living, and then <laughs> I, what's that one guy do? He like takes other people's objects if he sees yeah, them. Yeah, he's, 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 he's such a limb. His, his power, his quirk is Larson's lar larcenry, so he just steals anything. Yeah, that, I think he can see. I like, <laughs> I like how all these people's abilities were perfect against uh, Sun Eater. <laughs> yeah, this is a perfect setup. By the way, Sun Eater, I, I gotta say this, guys. I think his character is fairly interesting. However. Those goggles with that hood, it's just so stupid. I'm like, <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of Hey, it reminds me of Assassin's Creed or Talon. No, man. You gotta be <laughs> edgy, man. Bro, that <laughs> like do you wanna go snowboarding or you wanna go to a make up spells? Pick one uh, or the other. <laughs> uh, no, he's he's Ezio, he's kinda jump through a, a pile of hay. Whoa, God. whoa, but Ezio at least did not wear weird goggles, man. Okay, <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Here's why I'm judging goggles. Um there's there's a class novel that sometimes we, we read, but I completely threw it out because I was boring. About a kid who has trouble with vision because his brother poured paint in his eyes. What so the he wears these goggles to play soccer. What so the fuck? Like, 
that's Sun Eater right there. Yeah, go check it out. It's a real book. It's called Tangerine. You're gonna check it out. Hmm. Maybe maybe one day. Because <laughs> yeah, your um, strand reads. Oh, you can't do oh. that. <laughs> I want to mention too. Uh, Senefi guy actually did something. Wait, who? Uh, the centipede guy? guy. He like he actually has oh, like. Oh yeah, powers. yeah. Centipede arms, arms guys. He's actually Those more useful than Bubble Girl. Guys, better put some respect on his name now. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> doing something. He's more, more creepy than ever now. Like I don't want to see that guy. I don't want to see his okay, arms honestly, ever. What did you expect from centipede guy? I don't want to see his arms like ever. God, that was creepy. <laughs> He's you know a he giant centipede. Yeah. He, he, he's like your human resources guy who does the PowerPoints about sexual harassment and then he has to separate <laughs> the two people away from each other. <laughs> bro, how do you want to insult this guy after seeing his abilities? I, I'm sorry, bro. They're just not that good enough yet for me. Like, I mean, I don't let's know. compare it to turning water to vinegar, man. Let's be honest. <laughs> right, right. It's not that bro, bad. Come on. Wait, wait. What, where's that comparison coming from? From earlier on, when the, like, when, uh, like th- four episodes ago, when way back when All Might was saying this kid that was drowning and everyone was laughing at the kid because he was just turning the water to vinegar. Oh, hey, that has water to save him. He could make a lot of cleaning solutions with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he could open his own pickling factory, right? There, it's dude, he make some profit. This guy, right. he's going to be judged just by his looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy just messed up. I mean, uh, just all right. There's already a lot of weird people in your academia, like just <laughs> yeah, like you're born with like your your defect is basically your quirk. What that, uh, that's true. What would you think of like Sunny's backstory? I guess that it was just kind of typical. Yeah, I kind of expected that uh, coming in, just because he's always had low self esteem, and I guess Tokata is the one that kind of brought him back up. Gave yeah, that's true. Problems. I will what say it? it did seem typical at first, but then I like the fact when he's talking to Tokata and he's like. Man, how do you how do you stay so confident? He's like, "What do you mean? I stay confident because of you." And he's like, "What do you mean, bro?" And then Togata <laughs> tells him, "Listen, man, you're you're like so fucking anxious about this thing, but you still try it out anyways. That makes me feel really good about it." I was like, hmm, "That's actually a pretty good outlook." So well, the thing that kind of weirded me out is maybe I'm just looking into it too much. But if you think about it, he uh, referred uh, Togata as like the sun, and his name is Sun Eater. And he really looks up to Togata, right? So uh, it makes you wonder if there's like a deeper connection that he feels towards Togata rather than like just... Like he ass in college? college? Right, something like that, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, yeah. so I have a question, it's 2019, right? so... Yeah. I have a actually pretty good question. Like, so this dude ate a crystal and got the crystal power. So if he ate all my tear, would he get one for all? Actually, that's one... That's Never mind, I'm dumb. Would, if he ate someone else's air, would he get their power? Uh, no, because um, I think he he ate the crystal, so he basically it's, yeah, it's, it's the, the crystal. He he can um he can use crystal. It wasn't because of the power of the crystal. It was because like the actual rock, like because yes. he ate like a sort of rock. Right. Yeah. Was, this dude that literally eats anything. He can become that thing. That's pretty. Yeah. So maybe yeah. if he eats someone's yeah. hair, he just turns into their hair. That person, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I think earlier on in the like in the show, I don't remember where it was. But I think they, they, they made it, or they, they pointed out the fact that uh, all for one can only be passed on if the person that oh, yeah. has it true. is willing to, is, is like, you know, actually the one that's uh, passing it over. Yeah. Good call. So, but yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be probably some sort of over future with that, or somebody's going to have something to go against it. So, we'll see. We shall see. So, uh, th- thoughts about the overall fight, guys? The, I thought, dude, his Chimera, or his, like, uh, Kraken... Oh yeah, that was bad. That was pretty sick. That was yeah. pretty dope. Yep. Yeah. So sick. <laughs> That's the Until best. Until that excuse. guy woke up from his slumber. Do you look at the fucking sc- uh, scarecrow? Yep. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, it's time to eat, man. He just started eating. I was like, all right, dude. Get quirk. <laughs> dude you just I, I love the part everything. where he's like, the only thing he wouldn't eat is his friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not the guy that's covered in crystals. <laughs> Dude, dude, who? I, I think that would be a terrible quirk. You can just eat constantly. You like digest immediately. Wouldn't you be hungry constantly? Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why. That's, he that's, 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 that's why I had to. <laughs> that's why I had to stoop low to like a crime. Oh god! Yeah, you can't dance. Uh, that's what they were saying. Like the, the they kept calling themselves trash because they couldn't fit into society. I mean, that's basically think that, about that's, bas- that's basically like the, the the reasoning that a lot of the villains uh-huh. world is giving. So like. Because the world is made for heroes, so like they can't fit in. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
they could have used him as like a professional recycling bin because <laughs> the way he consumes things just breaks it down so easily. Like he could have a good job breaking things down. Yeah, yeah, dude. He doesn't want those jobs, man. He they're about that pride. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can live as a the living recycler bin or whatever. Well, cool. Then you're gonna be stuck <laughs> as a criminal for the rest of your life. <laughs> Bro, I'm okay with that. I found good friends, right? I'm part of the hey, bullet the Hasai group. <laughs> Go ahead. Air quotes aren't good. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, dude, okay. But, Who's excited about next episode? Do it. Brian is. I'm mad! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for this dude to pop off again, dude. Yeah, Sasha, like, what you got to say? You got I some shit to say? You better season, say it right this, now. The season that you mentioned, Sasha, that all of a sudden, like, uh, Kirishima just gets, like, he keeps getting the spotlight. Listen, listen, guys. <laughs> uh, I have many things to say here. This next episode, we are going to see his weakness, okay? Let's just say he's losing a limb, all right? <laughs> losing a limb? Yeah. I, I think he's going to get hard, but then he might run out of his harness. <laughs> or or someone's going to find, like, a little crack or, you know, a crevice in there. So we'll see. I believe it. I think yeah. the T is, like, something coming up. You think they're actually like, yeah. he's going to lose a limb, though? That's, that's kind of I don't think he's going to lose, lose a limb. limb. But, okay. like, I think he's, like, I think he's going to get beaten down hard. Probably mental. It's yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was a mental thing from the teaser at the end. Uh, yeah, it'll probably just be a reality check. I don't think he's losing any limbs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm, or if it's, I think he's either got, got himself get being down hard, or he's gonna watch like fat gum get being down, and then he's gonna like have that mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna realize he's, that his uh, quirk to harden is a, uh, you know, just a needs to get hard ability. Yeah, you gotta keep telling him get hard, bro. Get yeah. harder. Yeah. I can see his storyline. Like he struggles here, then he can't get hard anymore. So he starts taking Viagra. And it just takes him <laughs> really bad path. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is a PG thirteen anime series. Okay, this is a, a relax uh, an anime series where people, where, where people <laughs> his powers are whole body has been like exploded. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy! I was gonna say, yeah, they kind of passed that uh, that mark of uh, PG when that uh, magnet magnet guy uh, blew up. Like literally first episode. Uh, yeah. No, no blood, so I think it's fine. Oh, what? Okay. Wait, we got all over him. Though. I'm pretty sure there's blood everywhere. Yeah, no, we got no, all over no. overhaul. That's no, what he's no. like. Oh man, he's like so like not clean. No, there's no blood. No, no blood. Yeah. I will go back no, to the first uh, episode right now. I know, but Chisaki, <laughs> you know what I like about him? This is all this is all credit to how persuasive a guy he is. He's not like a hand face guy who can't talk at all. This guy actually, you know, he comes to you. Hey, man, you guys tired of living this life? Yes. <laughs> and then he, he persuades them. He uses his magic touch. And mm -hmm. I think then what I think he does is if they say no, he goes, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's he's just a pretty like good motivational speaker. Really? Do you think he's actually good and motivational? Well, I mean, like, I'm saying I by his actions. Yeah, he's okay. a very persuasive guy. I'd say as like a mob boss, he's Fits the, the character role quite well. Yeah, when you have the ability to just blow people up, I'd say yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I mean, like I mean, the, the, the three the three people, like they were following him because of how persuasive Saki right. was. Yeah, yep. like, he makes it think that it's their idea. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but then, what about uh, Ares power? Right, because I believe they actually confirmed that um, Eraserhead has a worse version of power than Ares. So Who, I'm assuming... I'm sorry, who's I think they just meant that it was a similar girl with a, with a horn on her head. Oh, yeah. uh, Erase's quirks? Right. So basically, they've confirmed that it is like Ares' quirk, but it's the better version, where I guess instead of just erasing it momentarily, it damages the nerves and gets rid of it permanently. Yeah, that's true. Well, and also with uh, with the Eraser, um, he, where it's basically like, okay, so like when he looks at them, and then did he, did he just like, uh, like, so does the the effect just last afterwards? Though that's not just when he's constantly looking at the person. But that's for, that's right. for a certain amount of time. Okay, yeah. has that has that happened before, or did like did he just improve on the? Uh, I think it's, it's always been before. the same way. Yeah. Huh, okay, but I think about like with Aerie, it's like it's easy. It's like I think it's like when you, when you put in a bullet, it's easy, easier to like to give to other people. And like I think yeah. they try and make it to like last longer too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I suppose he did actually get damaged too with his eyes, or uh, like way back. Um, I don't know if he uh, 
actually like ever recovered from it. But um, <laughs> I guess since it's just a bullet, like a sample of her ability, not her actual ability, that might be the case. Yeah. But if say she was actually there in person and applying her own quirk to people, it might be more permanent or stronger. Well, well when Sun Eater got hit by that bullet, like I mean, it took him a while to actually get. I don't want to say like it was over no. a day, wasn't it? it? Wasn't over a day? No, he, like every car. <laughs> or was it just hours later or something? It wasn't a day, but I think it was just like maybe okay. he had to sleep on it. Right. Yeah. But again, he was, was just... in the hospital though. Yeah, that yep. was just a sample though. It wasn't her actually using her quirk, so we're not really sure what her quirk, how it applies, and how long it was supposed to last. But yeah. I want to say since it was just like a small sample, that I don't think that's like the true potential of the quirk. Yeah, probably later in the sem- or, Jesus. <laughs> later in the the show, um, they'll probably have like a more you know more more improved version yeah. of it. I'm pretty sure like so. the the rates gotta go on for like the end of this first season. And then I don't know, like I don't know if they're gonna um, if uh, was it like if the rates gotta last if they're just gonna. <laughs> Yeah, basically, yeah, just go on for the rest. Of the and second half would just be just actually fighting Shisaki. Well, yeah. if they didn't show all show three of the members at first, I think that would have extended it. But I feel like since they're grouping a lot of the members together, they're trying to rush it, uh, rush the arc. Which I'm fine with because these yeah. people are, I don't want to say nobodies, but they're not the main uh, the main people we want to see fight. They're they're basically a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, basically. that's fair. Yeah, I mean, the, well, the three would have been, uh, you know, like way back early on, like they would have been nobody if uh, like, like that entire group was there and right. Sunny Deer didn't tell them to just, you know, go on ahead of them. Like they mm-hmm. it would have been just taken care of immediately. Um, there wouldn't really have been too much, uh, too much to that. So, but um, yeah. So what about Togata? We haven't discussed him going through the walls, going on his own a little bit. Oh, he's he's so screwed. Oh, he's a little, he's a little bit ahead of him, yeah. What does he even do? Like, like I know you can like go through walls, but like, but you don't. How do you attack people? Like, well, I think he just has the same thing. Well, remember, like, uh, ass, right? uh, uh, what? He just beats them up, basically. Yeah, yeah he, it's basically he pretty much just... like one v ten, like all the kids that try to stand yeah. up to him during like the little sparring session that they had. Yeah, like, he basically. He, yeah, he just trained his body to basically so he can actually like fight back. So I don't know, man. I'm excited to actually see this guy like. Fight somebody like uh, seriously instead of just uh, oh, are they um, it easy also, on kids? Are they got to go back to um outside with uh, the dragon lady and uh the other the other chick of the big three? Uh, I don't uh, really probably. I hope not. How about that this episode? I want to say they're gonna focus on the red riot this episode, and then the episode oh, yeah. will be like focused on the girls and the dragon lady. I don't know. You you know how like uh, they, they always have those episodes in the in, like they're just trying. There's like people that are just trying to control the horn, and they're just they're just like just to be there in a sense like i feel like that's kind of like what's going to happen um where mm-hmm. they, you know, they're just like fighting all the all the minions outside but they're just going to kind of ref- reference it here and there but i mean everybody knows that the main uh the main thing is inside yeah so yeah we'll see i just thought about this uh togata actually has a really good ability to fight chisaki because you know this chisaki is dependent upon touching oh right and so this guy can pretty much nullify that. that fairly easily. But yeah. I think what's going to happen is that's going to be the key to victory. However, that's going to get messed up along the way. So maybe Togata, yeah, you know, he might he might struggle quite a bit, lose his kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was going to say like, uh, um, like uh, I could easily see that, but it's like it's like it seems like from the beginning they've been messing up already. Like, it just seems like they kind of, like, effed up the whole, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess they knew about the raid. Yeah, so. they effed up, like, the whole well, beginning I mean, of the raid. They, they knew about the raid, even though, like, they kind of made it obvious with all the riot police showing up at the station. Yeah, like, really, the only thing that has gone right was, uh, was Night Eye's quirk, when he, uh, ended up going into, like, the secret, uh, secret wall. I think that's the only thing so far. I guess, yeah. But, um, I don't think I really have anything else. Oh, go ahead. I was I'm just I'm I'm curious to see what happens next episode. Of Red Riot. Hell yeah! Dude, I, want, I just time. wonder how how many how much development he's gonna get this season. A yeah. lot more than he did the first three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. It's basically, uh, like all him. Like, like no one else in the class is that guy anymore, besides Deku. 
it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like Deku, Togaga, and I guess Tamaki now, and then maybe Kirishima. Dude, just think if if uh, if Bakugo and Todoroki were here, just the shit that would happen. Dude, yeah. It'd be a shit show. Oh my god. Dude, I, 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 I miss having. Too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I think I'm good. Taylor, anything? Uh, no, nothing from me. Okay. Right. I mean, I guess one comment that was talked about while we were watching the episode was about Mimic when he injected himself with that stuff, and all he started moving all the walls around and distorting them. We were kind of wondering why he didn't just crush everybody immediately, but um, that was kind of one of the only commentaries that we had about him. Hmm. Because, but his his quirk looked really cool from the trailer for this episode, and so I was expecting something pretty badass from him. I mean, pretty, being able to pretty sure, like, like, yeah, being able to control a whole underground maze takes a yeah. lot of power. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good too. You know, it's kind of <laughs> weird that like he basically is making everyone like motion sick and stuff. Them. Yeah, I wonder if that has to do something with because they are part of the, um, what's their the yeah the uh, yakuza right? Mm-hmm. Like maybe it's like something with the part of them, like where they're not like trying or like wanting to kill like the heroes. I don't know if it's like something with like the law that they're trying to follow, or they're. Uh, no, I think it's, no, I think I think it's more like he probably like, can't really control, right? Power because he just like decked himself. Right, right. I'm sure so, there's just limits to the control in it because it's more than what he can normally handle. I think the police mentioned that he can only control things as large as a fridge. Before, so, yeah. Before, yeah. so going from a fridge to the whole underground maze might be too much from <laughs> next control. Drug so basically, man. my expectations for him were just too high. <laughs> yeah, it's just drugs. He's not too I mean, impressive. I mean, the guy was like two feet tall, so come on. Wow. Hey, hey what you got to show people? Being able to uh, move a fridge for that guy is a big deal. Well, that's, that's <laughs> kind of messed up. <laughs> just because trying short. to say, trying to say, people that are hey. short can't lift stuff, huh? Yeah, I'm just saying, the guy's a beast. For being that small. <laughs> For being that small. That's like a backhanded <laughs> compliment. I know. Sir. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I have high praise for this guy. Uh, high praise, in fact. Kind of twisted, but okay. All right, guys. You guys put words in my mouth. Hell yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I'm ready to move on. Okay. My bad. <laughs> All right. We're 